Now to another Bulldog exclusive, a nasty dispute between Atlanta Public Schools and Atlanta Police. And it's all over a story the Bulldog broke Tuesday surrounding the response to reports of an attempted abduction of a young student. Chief Investigator Jonathan Carlson here with the latest back and forth. Jonathan, what you find out? Well, hey there, guys. This is a bit of a confusing war of words, and I'm about to throw a lot of words at you, so listen carefully. But the bottom line, APS says they called who they needed to. APD says it wasn't enough. An elementary school student claims a man with a gun pointed to her head tried to lure her off the playground at Deerwood Academy Monday. Atlanta police told us Tuesday, APS and its police force waited four hours to properly report the incident, resulting in a limited response. APS fired back in a statement today saying, APS police told Atlanta police about the crime within 10 minutes. But wait until you see how Atlanta police responded to that. It's a gem, so I'll read it all. The idea that the Atlanta Public Schools Police Department believes that a single phone call placed to a dispatch desk suffices as notice of a serious assault against a child is laughable at best or poor police work at worst. Reaching out to the local zone commander more than four hours after the incident was grossly inadequate for us to mobilize our resources for immediate assistance. We suggest strongly they take a hard look at their protocols when it concerns child safety. Hmm. Well, the school system has yet to say if the facts of the incident have changed, and if not, how a child could have been approached by a gunman and no staff noticed. I'm told more clarity could come tomorrow or at the appropriate time as the investigation is still ongoing. We'll post both statements in full on our website, cbs46.com, shortly for parents to read, guys.